In this video, I'm going to show you step by step how you can make $100 per day simply promoting your Amazon affiliate links with Google Ads. We are going to look at finding keywords. We're going to do that in a few different ways. We're going to create a blog post really quickly. Then we're going to set up our ad. So make sure you watch this entire video to learn how to get started today. The first thing that we want to do is we want to go out and find keywords. I like to use a paid keyword research tool called Ahrefs. You could do this for free, but it's going to take you a significantly longer time to do this. And so what we're going to do is we're going to type in best. That's going to be our, our catalyst, our word that we're going to start with. Then we're going to go over to matching terms and we're going to add in a few more parameters to help us find keywords relatively quickly. We're going to include the words under and for like this and click apply. And we also want to add in more filters. We want to set a maximum cost per click or the amount of money that we're willing to pay to for our for a customer to click on our ad. We're going to set that to 50 cents. And then we want to exclude results that have ads at the top and bottom. And so we're just going to click apply here and then we're going to click on show results. And then what we need to do next is just verify what we're searching for makes sense. For example, best Academy Award for best actor. We don't really care about that stuff. What we could do is we could look at best cologne for men. Now it's getting 35, 36,000 searches every single month. However, this might not be the best for us. So if we look, you can see that there are ads at the top here and even towards the bottom. So this is not a good example. We can do best camera for photography. Um, this is 45 cents a click, but if we copy this, we can paste it over into Google and hit enter. Now you can see that there aren't any ads at the top or bottom. So this could be a good example. We see that there are videos, but if we do this correctly, we're, our results are going to show up right here on top of this uh, tech radar um, review. And for this example, we're actually going to use best printer for home. And I went ahead and did a little bit of legwork and I've gone ahead and I've created a very simple blog post. And if we take a look here, we are looking at this blog post and I'll show you how to create it. Now, if we look at this, I put in best printer for home. That's the exact keyword that we found over here. If we come back, I added in the complete guide and I just put in a simple one sentence. Here is a complete list of the best printers for home use. This list includes laser and inkjet printers, step-by-step, step, very simple. And then down here, and we'll talk about how I did this really quickly. I just have an affiliate link here a button to buy on Amazon. And then this link here is also an affiliate link. This image also affiliate link as well. And this actually just includes a little bit of information, but this actually saves us a lot of time. Now, the way that I did this, and I'm just going to click on edit post here real quick. I actually used a plugin. It's called AAWP. And I went and found the Amazon bestseller equal printer for home use items seven. Now, if you don't want to purchase, this is a premium plugin. If you don't want to purchase it, you can go over to Amazon like this, amazon.com, and we can paste in best printer for home, best printer for home like this, hit enter, and then make sure you change it from featured, change it to customer reviews. And this is going to give us a list of the best printers for home use based on customer reviews. Now I would try and target different printers. There are at least $200, but really it is up to you. And so we can actually modify this to the top of the top, the best of the best, and then we can move on to the next step. And the next step is simply to just write a quick little blog post. As you see here, here's a complete list of best printers for home use. Again, this is our a keyword that we're targeting. And then we can say this list includes laser and ink jet printers. Go ahead, real simple, real easy. You click publish and then you've got it. And then your, um, your, your blog post will look something like this. And so really the next step is to go through and create the ad. And to create the ad, we're gonna go to ads.google.com and we are going to sign up. Now, depending on when you see this ad and you haven't signed up before, you might actually get free credits to start a new ad. So I've already have an ad. I'm not able to take advantage of those free credits. Next, we're going to click on sign in and I'll come right back to you once I've signed in. All right, now that I've signed in, I'm going to click on new campaign just like this. Click on new campaign. And what we want to do is we want website traffic. 
This part may not show up for you. That's okay. Just click on continue and you should see search. We want to create search content and we're just going to grab the URL for our website. So bestproductsunder.com, best printer for home use, the complete guide. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to plug it right into this website right here, this space for the website, and I'm going to click on continue. We're going to click on start new. I've actually done this video for the third time now. Audio didn't work on the first two. Now we're going to set a daily budget of $10 and then we are going to change this from conversions to clicks. So we don't want to pay more than 50 cents. So we're going to click on set a maximum cost. Most likely what will happen is we'll wind up showing in results for less than 50 cents, but just in case that is the most amount that we're willing to pay. The next step is to click on next like this. And then we want to uncheck display network. And then we want to make sure that we are changing this to the United States only. Now, the reason why you want to do this for the United States only is because the Amazon that I'm using is for the US. If you have Amazon one link set up, you can try using different countries, but for ease of use, just you do the United States language is English. And then we're going to click next. Now this is where the fun starts. We are going to delete all of this and we're going to use a website called keyword toaster. And with Keyword Toaster, we're going to enter in our keywords and it's actually going to help us out a little bit. So if we come here, I'm going to type in best printer for home use. And what it does is it actually gives us the exact match, the phrase match and the broad modified match. And the exact match is we only want to show up in search results where people are typing in best printer for home use. Um, the phrase match is I don't care what else they type in as long as best printer for home use is in that keyword. So for example, someone might be type in, typing in the best printer for home use 2022. We can show up for that. We don't care about the before and after. And then the broad modified is we only, we don't care what else comes in between those words as long as these words show up. So someone might be typing in the best Home, we could, someone might be typing in the best new printer for home use 2022 near me, and we could show up for that. And so I'm just going to add in one more. Uh, we're going to add in best printers for home use like this. And then we're going to copy these and we're going to paste them right over into our ad. Now that website is called keyword toaster and we can scroll down and then this is where we start adding in more information and what we're basically going to do is we're going to add in our keywords in multiple places this is going to help with our optimization score this is also going to help um, our customers see that this is the best for them so what we can do is we can type in best printer and then we can say something like uh, home use and then down here we are going to type in uh, again we're going to type in best printer for home use. And what we can do is we can pin this to the top and we want this to show in the first position. So whenever someone sees our ad, the first thing they're going to see is best printer for home use. It's exactly what they typed in. And we can type in other things like um, beginner and expert options like that. And then we can also type in something like um, inkjet and um, laser home printers. Again, we're just typing in variations of our keyword. Make sure that you fill this out. You don't have to do all seven or eight of them. Just have a few different options for Google to, to use. And Google is going to optimize our ads to show the best results because Google ultimately wants to make money from our ads. And so they're going to try their best to make sure that this works out for us because it works out for them. Now in our description, we have here is the complete list of the best printers for home use. We're going to look, leave that best printer for home use, the complete guide. We can leave that as well. We can also add in a beginner friendly options for home use printing. Again, we're using variations of, of our keywords. Okay. So make sure you, you add in different variations and then we're going to click next. When we click next, we are going to close or minimize site link extensions, but we are going to open up call out extensions and guess what we're going to do here. We're going to do variations of our keywords. So if we look at this, every budget included, uh, we're going to do expert and friendly options best printer for home use, 
beginner printer, beginner friendly printer, best home use printers. We're going to add those and those will be added to our ad. And then we can click next. Now again, I apologize if it feels like I'm going fast. I simply have done this exact video three times now. And um, that's why everything's really kind of set up. But if you look at this, this is it step by step. Now what will happen is you might get an error. There really isn't anything to fix. We can just click on publish campaign. And you can see over on the right hand side, cost per day is 16 cents. It says we're going to get zero clicks, but that's not necessarily the case. Now, the cool thing about this is that we can start seeing people clicking on our link links in a, the Amazon back office. We can start seeing sales and commissions within 24 hours, uh, depending on what you do. Now, one thing that I recommend is try and find expensive products. If we look at Amazon here, these products aren't that expensive. And so you have to realize you're only going to receive about a 3% commission anytime someone clicks and buy. So I wouldn't do this $37 one. Um, that photo one that we found best camera for photography. If we copy this, this might be a better option because they have different camera kits. So if we paste this in like that, um, look at that. You can see $797 for that. And you're going to follow the exact same process. You can find different expensive cameras and then uh, put links then in there and make money. Now that you know how to promote your Amazon affiliate links with Google ads, click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbold.com forward slash start for my free training that shows you step-by-step -step how to earn a full-time income online without using paid ads, without a huge following on social media, or even a large mailing list. Click the first link in the description or go to alstongodbold.com forward slash start. Watch these videos next for more tips and tricks to make money online. Also check out my website, alstingodbold.com for even more tips, tricks, and tactics to make money online. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and share this video with five of your friends.